if we want to see more birds, we need to have more insects. It's plain and simple. Without the insects, you don't have the birds. Now recently, back in 2018, the European Union passed a law that banned neonics. You know, those nasty pesticides where an insect can just land on the plant and then it just dies. Not the plant, but the insect. Now the problem with that is it decimates the food source for the birds. You see, that might like a nourishy bug, they do. All right? You might not like bugs, but the birds love bugs. They like to eat the bugs. It's good for them, but not half-dying dead bugs, no. They want healthy live bugs to eat. So we have to think about reducing our use of pesticides of every type, whether they be eco ones or whatever they are. We have to look at other means, other ways of controlling the pests if we are to have good food sources without using neonics and without using other forms of primirifin and what are you? Nasty stuff that uh, ain't good for the environment. So what we have to do, all right? We have to get a bit of rubbish and we have to leave it lying about. Woody rubbish, you know, like sticks and leaves and stuff. So the actual insects have got somewhere to live. So they've got a habitat. So they make uh, more little insects and then the birds have more to eat. And uh, lo and behold, there's more birds. You can't have one without the other. You might not like the insects. And you might like the birds. But if you're going to have the birds, you're going to have to put up with the insects. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. All right? And besides, if you live in Europe, the insects aren't that bad anyway, to be fair. Well, I don't like mosquitoes, no. I don't like bitey insects. Can we, can we keep them to, to a minimum? Well, the mosquito does actually, oh yeah, pollinates the chocolate, the caca. You know, I don't know, you never wink, can you?